There's no other way to put this, guys. We got new mods, and one of them is Oakfield Farm. So we've got new mods, and the sounds on this map are already driving me absolutely insane. What have we got? Well, we've got an update to the ITS Limkin back, which we just got an update for not long ago. So I'm really surprised we've got another update for it, but we've got a five meter uh, disc arrow, or not disc arrow, uh, power arrow, instead of the four meter. Very cool. We have a Deutz Far Weight. That's right, we got a Deutz Far Weight. Pretty hyped about that. We got an update to the mod we got yesterday, the fertilizer tanks. Already we've got an update. So this right here, has not only liquid fertilizer and herbicide now you can store them not much i'll be honest with you you can't store much but you can store some nonetheless we've also got a swimming pool that's right we got a swimming pool yeah, yeah. and we've got two maps oakfield farm which we're on right now and hoggenstead which is an old map but we're gonna check everything out today Let's take a look at the Power Hero. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your store tools, Power Heroes, and here's your Zircon 12K400. Move one over. We have the Z Zircon 12K500. 5,000 more, and it's going nine miles per hour, five meter working width, 240 horsepower required and you can customize the heck out of this thing. I love the way it looks. This is the way it comes right here, just bog standard right there, main color. Let's see, let's do a John Deere one because we just did a John Deere. So main color, John Deere, John Deere right there. Man, that looks so good already. And design color, I went with the case red just to give it a little bit of bump, but if you don't want to do that, you can simply go like that looks really really good configuration we've got standard and three point with pto so you don't lose your three point hitch when using this design you can go none or track looseners it just kind of throws a little something in there i don't think they actually do anything uh it's just right where your wheels are kind of loosens the track up under there it's kind of cool 600 bucks want it cool not whatever and then we'll set up we can go cage roller toothpick roller trapezoidal roller and trapezoidal disc roller so we've got a couple different options here i've gone for just the standard cage roller because i think it looks the best but they all do the same thing it's just do you want something different do you not whatever it doesn't matter however you like it you can have it but this is the design that we've gone with right here we've got a new weight this guy right here the sdf group weight of course you're going to find this in tools and you're going to go over to weights. And I believe it's our last one in the series. Yep, right there it is. Deutz Farm, 1,500 kilogram weight. This guy right there. It doesn't say SDF group weight in the thing. It says Deutz Farm. Kind of interesting. Nonetheless, 1,000 bucks. Can't change anything about it. It does have a trailer hitch on it, so you will not lose your hitch. Kind of neat. I dig it. Here's this guy right here. Now, let's go ahead and turn on our help window. Come over here. And if this works, yep, activate. Move it out. And we have a little tractor right here what i've done is i filled up a sprayer with herbicide so we're going to bring this over and we're going to see can we move this over from here or does it have to be in tanks or stuff like that of course we need to get this john deere out of the way don't we this thing's kind of in the way back it up baby back it up nice let's bring this forward and let's see do we get the option to unload so it says start filling and I don't think so. So there we go. We've unloaded the herbicide. It says refill sprayer, but the problem is we, <laughs> uh, we can't, uh, can't really do anything. Start filling herbicide, liquid fertilizer zero. So makes me wonder how do we load this how do we fill this thing up so here we've got this little guy right here and i'm trying to figure out how 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 do we there's there's no start start filling yeah we can't and there's no unload into it so i could sit here and try and fiddle with this for a long time I'm not sure how to do this. Start feeling left. Yep, I can't. It, 
how in the world do you fill this thing up? There's nothing on the Mod Hub or anything that says how to do it. So I'm trying to figure out exactly how to, and I got nothing. I got, there's, there's, there's no way I can't unload into it. I, grr, that's all I got. And we've got a swimming pool and it is decoration only. So there's nothing we can do with it, nothing crazy. It's just for decoration. That eh, still looks pretty good though. Uh, this may be pretty cool on Welker Farms as soon as that comes out. Toss a little swimming pool out there. Give Nick somewhere to go around and uh, have a good time swimming. Yeah, you know what's up. So with that being said, that's kind of it. We've got a mod that I can't for the life of me figure out how in the world to work. Uh, we've got a new power hero. We've got a new weight. We got a swimming pool, yeah. And we've got a couple new maps. Now, if you guys are on PC, Meadow Grove also released today, as far as I'm aware, as far as I've been able to see, that's only for PC, not for console. I was under the impression that he was gonna try and get it out for console. Um, that doesn't mean that it's not out yet. It just means that it just hasn't happened. So, with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. All right, please subscribe. If you got any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. And let me know which one of these mods are you most excited about. And if there's not a mod on here that you're excited about, let me know which mod that you are ready to see in Farming Simulator 19. But with that being said, hope you guys have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.